Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interest of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Looking at CMG, NKE, GoPro, and Twitter on the daily and weekly time frame. So CMG saw higher highs and some continuation to start the day, but the Bears took over by the end of the day. The middle Bollinger Band has held two tests in the past three days at 4.17.40, and the key support that is a must-hold for the Bulls in the short term is the low of Friday, 4.11.62. Break that level, and we will have lower highs and lower lows. Coming after a little triple top in the 434 resistance zone. So that's an important level to hold. On the weekly time frame, we're watching the upper Bollinger Band begin to slowly ascend. We have all the key relevant moving averages still as support. Not a lot going on this week. If you look at the range from last week, it's pretty contained. And it's all about 411, 62 support and resistance is 425.58 and 429.87. So the Bears do have momentum with some weakness at the end of the day, and we'll see if the Bulls can keep holding this middle Bollinger Band. We need to be cautious because we have the bearish MACD cross and the bearish TCG cross of these exponential moving averages, and a loss of that middle Bollinger Band is going to give continued momentum to these Bears. So CMG Bulls want to see this middle Bollinger Band hold tomorrow, and we've seen a little bit of an upper wick the past two days after a nice long lower wick on Friday, so we need to see the Bulls back in control with a close near the high of the day to show strength and conviction. But if we don't get that, 411.62, the next level we're looking at. NKE is now consolidating a bit more convincingly, a bearish break of the inside candlestick from yesterday, and we are still consolidating what could be construed as a bull flag pattern. It is still normal and healthy and contained at this point, and it would require a break of 55.86 to lose the higher low pattern on the daily time frame. So bull's still in control, and we're watching very closely for a bearish reversal candlestick on the weekly time frame. The upper Bollinger Band is 57.48. Lose that upper Bollinger Band, and we will be looking for consolidation. And the question at that point will just be, is this going to be our lower high in the long-term downtrend? And I want to point out something that I have noticed on NKE, because I like to look at things from all different kinds of perspectives, and I have been admittedly scouting NKE for a bearish entry. But I zoom out to the monthly time frame, the 10-year monthly time frame. That's a bull flag. That is healthy consolidation considering where we came from, and we're now looking at the bulls trying to break out of this bull flag and head back towards the all-time high. So I'm not going to let this slip past me just because of my bias on where the direction I'm looking in. This is a very clear textbook bull flag, and if we see a break of $60, that's going to break the lower high pattern and indicate that the bulls are back in charge. And we can see the bullish TCG cross, the four period and the X period, four period and the eight period exponential moving average about to get a bull signal. So watching very close and might want to be looking in the other direction once we get that break of $60. But until that happens, I'm sticking with the trend that we've been in for over a year at this point of lower highs and lower lows, all about 60 resistance at this point. GoPro back in its channel. We had our double top at 975 and 974, and now we're back to 50 day moving average support of 937. We closed at the low of the day, giving that momentum to the bears into tomorrow. And if we break 932, this double low from Friday and Monday, that is a clear break of the higher low pattern on this oversold bounce. And we'll be looking down at 912 as the next support after that. The weekly time frame shows the upper wick last week, shows the upper wick this week. If we can't get over these exponential resistances, we are looking back down towards the all-time low, which is at 854. So the bears are in control on the weekly time frame, and they're close to taking control back again on the daily time frame. If we get 932 breaking, that would be the case. 
Twitter bears back in control. Great sign for the bears. Not confirming that bullish candlestick. Close near the low of the day. 1572 and 1550 are the supports that we're currently looking at on the daily time frame. So same scenario with Twitter. The bears are in control of the weekly time frame. And a break of 1550, we're going to get another clear leg to the downside. So this is the scenario that I've been pointing out where we had very, very small consolidation in the S&P 500, all things considered. And look what it did to GoPro. Clear bear candlestick and look what it did to Twitter. Clear bear candlestick even following a bullish reversal candlestick. So if we see this market consolidation begin to play out a little bit more convincingly, keep an eye on GoPro and Twitter long-term weekly charts as we're not too far above our all-time lows. So that's what we're looking at heading into tomorrow. CMG middle Bollinger Bank key support needs to hold. NKE normal consolidation still occurring watching $60 resistance. GoPro 50-day moving average and 932 key supports and Twitter 1572 and 1550. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.